did it tell you about LeBron for this upcoming season with the Lakers? I love what I saw out there. Not the fact, Skip. Not the fact that he scored 42 and 16, but it was the way he looked. He looked healthy. He looked fit. And I think one of the reasons why he played in this skip is because he's had a very, very long offseason. They didn't make the playoffs. He was banged up throughout the entirety of the season. And he and a lot of times LeBron would always get open court runs. I mean, he go into the gym and there are a lot of the other NBA players and they, you know, they're running. I don't think he's gotten that in, although he's posted a lot of him getting his shots up, getting working in, uh, working in with his uh, uh, his trainers and things of that nature. So this was an opportunity to get him a run in, get up, work up a good lather, uh, see how he feels. Uh, and he looked great. He looked amazing. As I said before, he looked healthy. He looked fit. He looked engaged. There was bounce in his step. And I like what I saw. I'm not going to talk about the competition because that's what happens. It's not like you go to the Drew League or you go to the Rucker and all, all the guys are NBA player, all-star players. You go against some guys that are overseas players, some guys are local guys that play extremely well and missed out on the opportunity to play in the NBA. But uh, uh, I, I like what I saw from LeBron. And the mere fact that LeBron is in, in, in year 20, and he still has this kind of uh, life in his legs. He still seems to be just as excited about playing the game of basketball as he was in year 10, uh, uh, year 5, year 15. Uh, that's, a good, that's a very good sign for the Lakers. And hopefully everybody else uh, that's going to be on the Lakers are getting their work in. And so when this thing comes together for camp, they'll be able to hit the court running. But I love what I saw from LeBron. I'm not going to talk about the 42, 16, and whatever else he had. I just like what I saw from the athleticism is still there. Um, the, the, the desire, the passion for the game of basketball is still there. Um, it's kind of like Brady. You know, and people are like, well, Brady, Brady should retire. The man still has a burning desire to go out there and compete, put the work in, and be great. And LeBron James still have that same burning desire, passion to put the work in and to be great. I love what I saw. I didn't like it. I love what I saw. Mm, okay. I will agree with the first few points that you made. It was a great move for LeBron to play. I thought he looked, as he said afterwards, 100% healthy. Yes. I thought this wasn't a good but a great PR move for a LeBron James. You talked about how the murals got defaced mm -hmm. when he was first a Laker. Mm -hmm. And even though he helped carry them to a bubble championship, it just, it just won't work. It's, it's not going to put you over the top into Laker legendary status, a la a Kobe, Shaq, obviously Magic, Magic yeah, 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 Showtime, yeah, no. Kareem, all, all of the above. So this is one way to give back to the L.A. community because he hadn't played in the Drew League since 2011, and so he's been here now four years in L.A. without an appearance in the Drew League. You need to do that one time. I thought he needed to do one slam dunk contest, but that didn't there happen. You go. But there you whatever. go. There you go. He did do the Drew League, so I give you credit for that. And by all accounts, when he walked into that fairly small gym the other afternoon, on Saturday afternoon, it was like Jesus himself walked through yeah. the door. They said the buzz was just electrifying beyond anything they'd ever seen in the Drew League. So I'm going to give you all of the above. Now, he did stack his deck because he asked DeMar DeRozan, can I play for your team, the Cheaters? They're, right. uh, it's, it's <laughs> MMV Cheaters. I don't know why they're called the Cheaters. <laughs> I wouldn't nickname my team the Cheaters, right. but they did. So DeMar has been playing games for the quote unquote cheaters. That's his home, that's his home court. Okay. He broke Compton. Okay, I yeah, and he's he, he literally went to Compton High School. <laughs> yeah. So so he's a legend. As is Casper Ware, a local legend who went to Long Beach State, didn't really make it. He played briefly in the NBA, but he plays overseas in Moscow. So so the point is he, he's a local legend, yes. Casper Ware. So he and DeMar are on the same team. And LeBron said, let me play with you guys. And it's kind of a stacked deck against a team. And I'm not sure the other team had any NBA players because I couldn't find any reference or right. mention of the other team. So it, it should have been a route for the cheaters, but it wasn't a route because the other team called the Black Pearl Elite took over in the fourth quarter. Then DeMar and LeBron roared back and took control with about a minute 22 left. They were up six. And then it started to happen, and it went down to the – the wire, and with 4.5 seconds left, LeBron is at the free throw line shooting two to give them a three-point lead and at least assure overtime mm -hmm. at worst. And I'm probably not going to pronounce the guy's name right, but it's Mike Nwabazor mm -hmm. was playing for the other team. He went undrafted in 2018 out of New Mexico Highlands. He's from the, the local area. He's from Lakewood where I think Russ is from right in the right. Lakewood area, Hawthorne Lakewood. So 
he says after the game, he said he marched up to LeBron and started to trash talk him at the free throw line. This is LeBron James. You're going to trash talk him? Yeah. And said, um, I, I need one here, as in I need a miss. And LeBron made the first one and then gagged the second one. We've seen that occasionally, haven't we? All I mean, the guy often. was trash talking to Mar DeRozan. Huh. Did you, I mean, they, were, they huh. was going heated. Huh. Well, all of a sudden, so LeBron misses the deciding clutch free throw that could have, again, at least clinched overtime. And the Black Pearl Elite got a three-point shot at the buzzer to win the game thanks to that miss. And I'm thinking, well, that's the same old LeBron because I hate to bring this up, but it reared its ugly head even in the Drew League. Since LeBron came in the league, nobody has even come close to missed late and clutch free throws, late and close free throws, like LeBron has missed them. He's missed 17 since he came in the league. Next on the list is J.R. Smith, his former teammate, with eight. So it's 17 to eight next on the list. So it's same old LeBron, right? You do realize that, like, when, <clears throat> when LeBron got into the league, nobody's in the league still. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's still 17 to eight. Wow. Now, let's get to my favorite LeBron subject, three-point shooting. I thought you told me he was in the lab. You, you told me he's been yeah. in the lab. Yes. He made two of 13 threes. And I'm thinking, LeBron, I thought you'd been working on that a little bit. Yeah. Couldn't you make six of them or well, five good. of them or four of them? You do, like, realize, like, when you're in training, mm. that's why you go to training mm. to work on the things that you haven't gotten good at. And sometimes it doesn't come to fruition until you actually get on the court in a real-life situation. Mm. But you keep working. I can assure you that Tom Brady is not going perfect in throwing drills when he's going seven-on-seven seven or when he's in team situation mm. in the offseason. Mm. But... That's a, a trigger. So now I have muscle memory. I know I, 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 I short arm this one. I threw too much on this one. And then you'll have it in a, and you'll have easier recall of those situations. Mm. That's what it's called off season for. Okay, but Tom Brady wasn't a wildly inaccurate passer last year. LeBron James shot what, 36% from the three? He shot 35.9%. That's 36. Stop okay. that. 35.9%. That ranked that. in the NBA last year 93rd. I want you to think about this. It ranked 93rd while he took a career eight threes a game, eight three-point attempts a game. That ranked 15th in the league. So his percentage was 93rd, but his attempts were 15th. Do the math on that. Does not compute, right? It computes. Like you're, you're shooting way too many threes because you're not good enough to make that many threes, Yeah, he's right? good enough. Well, he's going to make you honor it. Will, will he? Because yep. he, he didn't last year. And by the way, his free throws were actually up a little bit last year to 75.6. That ranked 86th in the NBA. Okay. 86th. Yet in free throw attempts, he was 15th. So 15th in three point attempts, 15th in free as much throw as attempts. as much as he drive the ball, huh. he should have been first in free throw uh, attempts. Okay, I will agree with that. But you got to be better than 86th in free throw percentage if you're going to get to the line that much. Can I ask you a question? Huh? Wow! It's same old Braun at the Drew League. I thought he was in the lab. Silly me. He is I don't in the lab. Know. And He's obviously, in the lab. you can't really coach and teach clutch. So I, I, I'll give him a pass on that one. Did he not look good? Huh? Did he look fit? He looked good. Did he look the He did not play well. He looked I, good, did not play well as far as three point shooting and clutch free throws. But see, here's the thing this is the problem that LeBron was going to run into. If LeBron plays well, let's just say for the sake of argument, he goes eight of 13. You're going to say, well, who are these guys that he's playing against? Who is this guy? I can't even pronounce his name. And then why did he join DeMar DeRozan? So LeBron was in an unwinnable situation regardless. There's nothing that he could have done in this league that was going to satisfy. That's why I didn't critique his play. I critiqued how he looked and the bounce and the liveliness that I still see in his legs. Mm. I'll critique LeBron against NBA talent once the season start. And mm. then I'll have a better assessment. But to try to critique him against, like you said, against guys that, that are uh, only DeMar DeRozan, I think, is currently in the NBA. There are a couple of guys that's overseas, a couple of guys that got an opportunity but didn't make it to the NBA. But you and I both know, had LeBron scored 65 and shot 10 of 13 or 8 of 13 from the three, you go like, oh, LeBron, who is that? Me? Do you might as well just come down to Lifetime and shoot around with me and my guys? Mm. That's what you're going to say. So he well, wasn't going to be able to win. But, but again... Nobody's really playing much defense. I'm assuming it's almost like seven on seven in your sport, right? Yeah. Where you're just kind of playing against air, really. I mean, you're you're just sort of 
There, there's no tackle. I just there's want to no get rushing some, the passer. The, the, he just wanted to get a run in. He he probably hadn't had a a a, a full court game of basketball since the season ended. And remember, Skip, he missed, what, the last three, last four ball games. So LeBron's season has been over for a long time. Long time. And, and he did ask that they reduce the quarters to only 10-minute quarters right. to take a little bit of pressure off him to run for 48 minutes or whatever. Right. 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 Yes. So, And I don't, I don't blame him for that. But, again, when you're not playing any defense and you shoot two for 13, it's just a bad sign. And yet, it's just who he's always been. It's vintage, classic But here's LeBron. the thing. The thing was, you're shooting threes. The court is condensed. There are people standing on the baseline. There are people standing. So you're not going to drive the basketball like you normally. I mean, he drove it a couple of times. Well, I, I think he drove it more than you think because he yeah. did score 42 points. I mean, you're surprised. You say, I mean, get, okay. the, get the surprise okay, at your but, boys. But this is, this is exactly what, what he's been his whole life, his whole NBA life, because he, he's he's on course this, this year, next year. Three, four months, he's going to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as yeah. the all-time leading scorer in the league. And yet, career-wise, he's 34.6% from three. 34 points. That's pretty good. 35. That's pretty good. It's pretty ordinary for a guy that you call the GOAT. But here's the thing. Prior to Steph Curry coming along, 35% from the three was very good. And then Steph Curry came along and, and, and took it to levels that we had never seen and we may never see again as far as the shooting with the accuracy from that distance. Now, these young guys, the Trey Youngs and Buddy Hills, they're off to better start shooting the three than Steph because they shoot more and they make it more the season. So the likelihood of Steph, Steph record lasting a very long time isn't very good, Skip, because that's where the game is transitioned from. Steph made it go from... Uh, 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 inside outside game to mainly an outside outside game. Now we'll go inside a little bit. Okay. So but I, LeBron hasn't kept up with the times. Yeah. He hasn't changed with the times. Actually, has. That's why he's shooting more threes. Okay. Because the game calls for you to shoot more threes. LeBron is shooting more threes. Okay. But his thirty six percent last year was a tick up from his career. Average, okay, then. But it ranked ninety third in the league. So skip. people are just blowing by him in three point percentage. Yeah, yeah. Ninety third. But, but skip, uh, how many guys? that shoot better from the three are better players. You can be better at one aspect of the game than said, said, said player. I mean, there are a lot of guys that should, Mark Price shot the free throw better than Michael Jordan. Larry Bird shot the three better than Michael Jordan. Elijah Wan had a better post-up game than Michael Jordan. Doesn't mean they were better players. was still an 85%. But what you, what you try to do with LeBron, you try to pick out aspect. You pick out one aspect of his game as opposed to grading the overall player. If I just take Tom, I can pick apart Tom Brady as far as he, can, he can't run. He doesn't throw the ball on the move as well as Patrick Mahomes. You can pick apart. Know, but it doesn't hurt him at all. It doesn't hurt LeBron. Okay, if you rank 93rd, in three-point per percentage last year, and you took the 15th most, that hurts your team badly. That, that's a big reason they went 33 no, and 49. No, the, the, the big reason they went 34 and 30, of whatever they went, is because of the injury, and they didn't, ha they didn't have, they didn't have a, 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 a cohesion that they needed between the best players. Two of the three best players were injured the Lions' year. Anthony Davis missed 40 games. LeBron missed what? 25, 30 games. Okay, but when he was out there, he's taking way too many threes and making way too few threes. That, that's a, just the truth. That hurts that team. I In the 55 games he played, that hurt. Well, so 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 what role did the 30, so did the 38 and 6, did it help any aspect of the sure, game? Sure, sure it did. But you say I'm nitpicking little things. These are huge things. And the free throw shooting ranked 86th in the league. I, I thought you said he was the GOAT. 86th no, in the league. I, no, Skip. Just because you're not great, and Skip, you make it seem like, okay, we got 18 different categories. You make it seem like if you're not the top in every single category, you're not great. That's not true. Mm. Well, it's just, if you're going to call him the all-time greatest player ever, I'm going to say, what, by mention, those standards, he can't shoot. So, so, so He can't shoot, he period, can't shoot end what? of story. So, so how is he, so how is he a, 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 a lifetime 50% field goal? Guy. Because he's the greatest driver of the basketball I've ever seen. And he okay. has neglected that part of his game far too often in favor of pulling up and launching. He launched Skip. But here's the thing. Even Jordan, the greats, as they started getting older, 
They couldn't drive the ball. It takes a lot to continuously drive the ball to the basket. And it gets frustrating if I'm driving the ball and they're not calling okay, it. Okay, which is why Michael developed the single deadliest mid-range jump shot I have ever seen, including Kevin Durant. I've never, Michael was like automatic. He was yeah. like shooting free throws from 12, 14, 16 feet. Just turn around, fall away jump yes. shots. It was unguardable. Yes. Okay, so he said, I'll do that. I'll get in the lab. I'll do that. Yes. I don't see LeBron oh, do you see that. If it, you, you saw him hit that fade away. You, that yeah, you, show, you saw what he okay, did. and I don't see enough of it. It'll come and it'll go. Skip, you make it seem like every time Michael Jordan shot the fadeaway, the ball went in. It did no, not. No, but it, it felt like he made 70%. Uh, of, of course it, it does. Yep. And we look, yes, yes, that's what happens. As time grows on, you've added yeast to the story, and it's grown. No, I yeah, have not any yeast. Yes, it's grown. No. Michael Jordan never missed a shot. Michael Jordan never missed a game. Michael Jordan averaged 72 points a game one year. Y'all don't remember that? Y'all don't remember when Michael had that streak? He had a week where he had 81 game. He had 65, 72. Stop. Greatest bailout player I've ever seen, shot clock player. Just give it to Mike and let him figure out a shot. And at the end, it was the fadeaway. And it was money. Did LeBron look good, yes or no? Michael Jordan never went 33 and 49. God. Uh, Is this a play -in turn? Michael Jordan never played in year 20. Huh. Did Michael Jordan make it to year 16? Mm -mm. Can we make it to year 17? No. Nope. What about 18? Well, he 19. Got, he got sent home. No, no, I don't know. Years. Look at, I, hey, I don't know. I don't know why he got. Maybe he was uh, firing spitball, mm. or he was playing football when he shouldn't have been playing, I or maybe know. he skipped class or he was truant. I don't know what the case was, and but I he, got a guy that's in year 20 well, and looked he, like he's in Michael year 15. Michael had to quit on principle when his coach nah, got he on run principle. out the back door. I don't know. That, look. No, nah, I already know uh, Austin Kills was my principal. Mm -hmm. Bernie Weeble yep. was my principal. Yep. Mr. Harold was my principal. I don't know anything about principal. Mm. All I know is LeBron is 20 years in and looking good. Mm. Can you say that about anybody mm. else in year 20? On longevity, he's going to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What the hell? You, oh, oh, mm -hmm. you make it seem like Kareem uh, uh, accomplished all his stats in 10 years. Mm -hmm. You do realize Kareem played 20 years, right? He did. There are a lot of other. Kobe played 20, right? Mm -hmm. So you make it seem like LeBron is doing something like, oh, LeBron is only lying. Skip, the man is playing unbelievable. Give him that. Mm. Okay, I'll give him that. But if, if I were LeBron, I'd be in the lab this morning working on my three-point shot. I'd get me a shot doctor, and I would try to I, I promise it. you, I promise you, LeBron is in the lab. Uh. Well, Tom Brady ain't working on throwing on the move, is he? Well, he is doesn't he, need to. It's I not see, part of the game. But yeah, it is a part of the it's game. It's not part of the game yeah, at all. So throwing on the move is not a part of the game. Well, you told me Lamar throws on the move and he can't throw. No, 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 no. This is not about Lamar. Mm. All I'm saying is, Skip, you, we've got to stop this. Because what you do is that, well, he doesn't do this the best, so he can't be good. Has it hurt Tom Brady that he's uh, not mobile? It ain't, it ain't hurt Has LeBron. It hurt him? Has it hurt LeBron? Hurt he, him about to, he, about to be, he about to be the all-time leading scorer. Mm. So he getting them points somehow. Mm. He's still about to pass Kareem somehow. 33 and 49? It happens. Four and six in the finals? Six? Yeah, 10 times. Jordan won Eight, six, six and zero losses. Hold on. Huh. He only won six titles in 15 years? Yeah, so six, what happened in the other nine? Zero. So what happened zero. in the other nine? Uh, can you tell me what happened in the other nine? He had to overcome some and of I want the greatest to, teams in and, history. And I want people to stop. No, no, no. I want people to stop telling this. Nobody ate on Jordan Watch. In the 80s, Jordan got in the league. Ain't nobody eat my bird and magic. Mm. They ate off his plate. Yeah. They ate his food. Yeah. And in the early 90s, they ate off. Isaiah was kept mm. eating. And Bird watched him score 63 as a second-year player coming off a and broken took a leg. And took a look. And said, uh, I just watched God disguised as Michael Jordan. Yeah, his mama had... Uh, Anybody had ever say... I just watched God disguised as LeBron and I watched, James. And, and, I, and I watched Larry that. Bird said that. eat the Twinkies out of his lunchbox. Mm -hmm. really? His mama put Twinkies in the lunchbox and Larry Bird ate them. With Kevin McHale <laughs> and Rob oh! Parrish, whoa, 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 whoa. Dennis Johnson yeah. and Danny A. Hold on. So you didn't do mm. hold on. You didn't do that with LeBron mm. when he got beat by Kevin Durant and mm. Draymond Green and Steph mm. Curry mm. and Klay Thompson. Or he got beat by Tim Duncan, Manu mm. Ginobili, Tony Wait, Parker, Kawhi Leonard. You could have stopped after one name with your first batch. He just got beat by Kevin Durant, period, end of story. Think, oh, he had humiliated and annihilated the rest of those guys the year before. The, Ke the Kevin Durant yeah. that's in the jet that trying guy. to take off again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that guy is trying to take off again? Yeah. He's trying to go join Steph Curry because Steph Curry got a title. He's not trying to, he's trying to he, take he, off. He that's your revised history. Hey, ain't no revised no history. Yeah. Steph Curry holds, holds the SB. I'm going to watch him because I know he's going to do a good job.
Okay. <laughs> I just hope you shoot two or ten from three. No, there you go. Don't, don't do that. I, I, just want your guy, I just want your guy to not get swept. Joe guy got swept. The team that yeah. swept Joe guy, Steph Curry beat him in six. Mm. They swept Joe team, mm. Steph Curry beat him in six. Yeah, my guy was flying solo. And no, your guy went flying solo. I, I couldn't tell he was doing anything. He was mm. terrible. Mm. If you want to talk about that under 40% that he shot? All I know is he's better than your guy is right uh, no, now. No, don't, do don't, do <laughs> don't do that, Skip. Don't do that, Skip. Don't do that. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.